Hey guys, this is Lake Butter from the forums. Um, back to give my first impressions of uh, the phone itself and uh, some of its features. Uh, this won't be an in-depth uh, review of any um, of any significance. Uh, I'll definitely be doing more videos along the way for specific sub features and uh, hopefully later down the road a full review once I've had more actual hands-on time with it. Um, the first thing I want to really kind of get on is the performance. Um, it, it really is uh, a huge improvement from the Galaxy Nexus. The Galaxy Nexus would have stutters. Um, this is just super smooth. I'm not sure if the camera actually picks up the smoothness, but uh, it, it is a world of difference. And um, the, the time between reaction from your touch input uh, to actual uh, transition is fantastic. Um, though I'll have to say that uh, in order to get optimal um, touch input, you will have to go to settings and you will have to go down to, uh, I forgot where I'm going here, buttons, I believe it is. Nope, sorry. Um, you'll need to go down to uh, about phone and turn on your developer options. And you can do that by going to build number and tapping about five or six times rapidly and that will open developer options. Um, once you go into developer options, you'll be able to adjust uh, some of the animation times uh, further down here. Uh, window animation scale, transition animation scale, and anime iteration scale. Um, I think these are default. They're set to about one second, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, here, uh, I've tried setting it to a super low setting. I've tried setting it to like... 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and it does actually work pretty fast, but you almost don't even notice the um, transition at that point. So I think half a second is a good compromise. So it's a quick transition, but at the same time, you still maintain like something's actually occurring in sequence as opposed to it just being, you know, an instantaneous change. But, uh, you know, you could play around with it and figure out uh, what's best for you. Um, in general, though, uh, like I said, it's very smooth. Um, the load times are very, very um, quick for any application that you use. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is ES File Explorer, of course, but uh, that's fairly straightforward. Um, as far as LTE performance, um, I just want to state that I am with uh, Kudo, uh, which is a Canadian uh, provider for wireless. I switched to them recently, but uh, I didn't have LTE on my Galaxy Nexus. So, you know, I was only getting HSPA plus speeds, and they're pretty terrible. I'll go to results so you can see. Um, if we go down the list, uh, some of these around here on March are some of the examples, you know, 6.94 megabits uh, download speed. Um, but as you see, I did a test here on 19th and um, I got 36 megabits, so it's fantastic. Um, of course, each provider will vary, but I'll, I'll run a test right now so you guys can see um, how it does. So right now, during the day, obviously, um, there's more load on the network, specifically with data, so you will see that uh, it doesn't quite reach that 36 high, but uh, it's definitely better than 10 megabits per second or less than I was getting which, with uh, HSPA+. Plus. So LT definitely does rock. Um, I can't really comment on the LTE battery uh, longevity. I mean, I, I've only had a couple days with the phone, so uh, this I can't really tell you accurately what the difference is if you said it's 3G only or with LTE on. But as you can see, uh, 16 megabits and 2 megabits upload, so that's LTE for you. Um, with the display itself, uh, I've noticed something, I wouldn't say it's bad or, or odd really. Um, with my Galaxy Nexus, if I just lightly touch uh, with the tip of my finger, like I would get a reaction. And I notice on this phone, you have to sort of plant more of your finger on it in order to get a little bit of a response. And I think that's kind of a good thing because when you're typing text messages or you're briefly having your hand, fingers at the edge of the phone, you don't accidentally hit too many things and, and, and you know, go into settings that you didn't want or whatnot. So I actually find that to be uh, 
an okay thing. I mean, I, I, it just takes a little bit of getting used to compared to the Galaxy Nexus, and um, you know, other than that, it's great. As far as like the brightness goes, I mean, you can adjust it. Obviously, um, I have mine on auto, which I find to be pretty good at its job. I mean, sometimes and during the day, it's not bright enough, but uh, otherwise, um, you know, you can manually adjust, and it goes pretty damn bright almost to the point where it hurts my eyes. So the screen definitely will have a lot of longevity um, as far as, you know, the life of the screen, I guess, if you don't hold it at full brightness. And um, it's definitely pretty vivid, pretty accurate, but not overly saturated like Samsung phones tend to be with AMOLED displays. Um, what else can I comment on for now? My experience with calling, um, you have the earpiece up here. I don't know if I can get a good shot. Um, maybe I have to put in an angle. But anyway, somebody mentioned that uh, they drilled more uh, holes in the speakers over here so that they can improve the loudness. And loudness isn't necessarily an issue, but I found uh, in my multiple uh, voice calls that uh, the speaker itself, it just sounds muffled a little bit, almost like they're in a tuna can. and. Um, I really have to strain to hear, and I'm hoping that this isn't a hardware issue strictly. I'm hoping that there is some sort of software element that they can uh, tweak and maybe enhance the clarity because I don't expect cell phones to have 100% clarity. You know, I'm, I'm, It's not like you're talking to somebody sitting right beside you, but when you're still straining to hear, especially if you have noise outside around you, um, I could definitely uh, tell you that it would be a little, a little hard to hear uh, what the person on the other end is saying. Now, so far, I haven't had any complaints from any colleagues of mine uh, in regards to hearing me, so I guess that's a good thing. But, uh, yeah, me hearing them, uh, it's definitely an issue. Um, so hopefully they'll, they'll be able to fix that. And, uh, yeah, there's the knock feature, so if you double-tap it twice, it unlocks. Uh, what else can I comment on? I guess if you guys want to see maybe the battery, um, let me just go to settings. I do say um a lot. That's not a good thing for uh, narrating YouTube videos. I really need to work on that. Alright, so we'll go to the battery screen here. My comments for this is uh, I'm in day two and a half. I've had it since June 17th and I believe at midnight, so June 18th at midnight. I've had it fully charged and ever since then I have not charged it once. So as you can see, I am on day one, 14th hour, um, and I still have 50% uh, battery life left, or 49 rather. So it's definitely, you know, the battery life is amazing. I mean, with, with my Galaxy Nexus, I've had to charge it pretty much every half a day. And with this, uh, this is what, if I were to describe my usage patterns, I mean, obviously I've been using the phone a lot, but I haven't been using like, 3D intensive graphics or playing too many videos. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been using the Bluetooth audio too much either, which I usually, I usually do when I drive my car. But uh, I'd say this is sort of like light to medium uh, usage and uh, it's fantastic. I, I really love this battery and I feel safe, you know, traveling out of town for the weekend and coming back with it without even bringing an extra battery pack or a charger or anything like that. So battery life, I give it a thumbs up. Now granted, this is on um, the balance profile, which I can probably bring up by holding the power button. Uh, profile, oh actually no, sorry, that's not the right place. But basically there's, there's a setting uh, somewhere inside here that basically allows you to change the performance level. It's down here. And uh, yeah, here we go. So you have power save, which is like really low key, saves a lot of energy. Haven't particularly used it yet, so I can't fully comment on it, but I've been using balanced and performance as if you really need full on performance all the time. And I can imagine even if you had performance on, you would probably drop to maybe half the usage at best. So even at a full day uh, on performance, that is amazing. So um, I'm looking at a little bit of a cheat sheet here to see what to talk about next. Uh, the camera LED, I, I, I really hate this thing. Um, and I don't think it's terrible, like it's not useful, but uh, you can access it by 
drawing a V in it. I don't know if you can see it on the table, but it's barely over here, barely this little outline over here. On my Galaxy Nexus, this is like five times as bright. So I don't really know what they were thinking. Um, it may seem bright right now, but really on this table, it's, it's really weak. Uh, I really wish that they went with a stronger LED because this is pretty pathetic, but I'm not like a huge picture taker, but uh, I'll definitely get to that uh, at another point. You can also turn it off by drawing the V again, sometimes, maybe, maybe not. Okay, I'm struggling to um, deal with that, so I'll turn it off manually. Uh, what else do I have here? Uh, let's say music and speakers. I'll do a quick demo of that. So you have to hold the menu button. As you can see, I'm actually going along with uh, the hardware buttons over here as opposed to the software buttons. I've just gotten used to it now and definitely a good thing to have more screen in real estate. So let's see, where's the app? Okay. Um, I'm going to play some music here. I don't know if the speakers or I mean the microphone on the Galaxy Nexus is going to pick it up that well, but uh, we'll give it a shot. This is at full volume, and uh, I've chosen um, the song Passengers from the Heat soundtrack. So that's a little bit of a taste of the speakers. They're not like super clear, like as if you have your own dedicated sound system, but it's definitely loud. Um, you know, it has some punch to it. So people who like to play uh, games uh, will definitely enjoy that speaker. Uh, of course, I will try to do a little bit of a example. Like people usually hold this to watch maybe films or games. So I'll do that in a moment here when I'm showing the video, but um, I'm curious to see if that will block the sound or muffle it uh, holding in this position. Uh, okay, so we're going to go to the video to see 1080p performance. Uh, here we go. Alright, uh, just a little bit of FYI. This is um, episode 21 of season... Well, yes, uh, episode 21 of season 1 of uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So if you haven't seen it already, there may be some clips here or some spoilers. So avert your eyes. Previously on Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Or is Hydra? No, I, I don't believe it. You think I don't want to watch him suffer? I'm not suffer. Die. Tell us how to unlock the As you see, I'm sort of covering the speakers here, and unless you specifically angle your thumb on one of the speaker grills or, or really cup it, then holding it at the middle over here is not really going to interfere with the sound of the speaker, so it's definitely a plus. As you can see, it's a very smooth playback. Um, the colors could probably be a little bit more vivid if I increase the brightness, but uh, like I said, it's still pretty decent on its own. Okay, I'm gonna pause that. Um, what else to comment on? That's that's pretty much it for now. Uh, like I said, it's just base impressions. Uh, actually, one more thing. People were asking me about uh, the voice wake up feature. Uh, right now, it is not present on the device. Usually, if uh, you came down to this personal area in the settings, there'd be a voice wake up, and it's currently not on the device. Uh, there was a lot of problems people were having saying, okay, Snapdragon was working only maybe 33% of the time, so I'm assuming that they took that out, and they'll bring it back at a future point in time to uh, bring it in a usable state. But right now, there's no way for me to use it unless I had an old image, um, but there's no source for that for now. So anyway... Um, this is pretty much my basic impressions right now. It's a really good phone. I'm enjoying using it. Uh, I guess one more comment maybe about holding the phone. It's really comfortable, but I find that uh, the pronounced edges are a little sharp. Not sharp, but like uh, with the thinness, it really kind of gets you if you hold it in one hand for a long time. Like yesterday, I was holding my phone for about half an hour in one hand, just playing with it. And the edges really kind of got dug into my fingers a little bit. So. I guess you have to kind of take a break or switch to a different hand. Um, back on track though, uh, this is just a small impression video. I will be uh, 
doing some more pictures and videos with the oppo itself i have some things planned for that but that probably won't be today maybe tomorrow or on the weekend so anyways um if you guys have any comments uh feel free to leave them any questions i'll try to uh, get to your concerns thank you